dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with Robot Chicken's DC Special, followed by DuckTales, the video game, and then for our focal point, Pathfinder, the adventure card game. That's right. Our anime this week is Dante's Inferno, and our movie is Killing Zoe. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Today is the third, and we're taking a look at Robot Chicken's DC Special. That's right, and this was, uh, came out in 2012, and it's funny that we're doing this for a comic, but, you know, DC... It's comic-related, and we works. can't always, you know, read an entire, you know, arc or whatever, so we're taking a break, and this is something that I was excited about, so... Yeah, so he picked it up, and we saw it, and I think I remember actually watching some of the skits, like, kind of cut up, like... In, in the actual series, like every now and then you'd see Superman come no. over and huh, know this that is all they're all new? Stuff. Okay, then I must just be confusing things, or I must have seen that at some other point and just totally forgot about it. Um, but it was directed by Seth Green, who pretty much does like all of the voices in this thing anyways, with few exceptions. I mean, you have some other people in there uh, who do some great things. Uh, Nathan Fillion really, really stands out. Um, you have, uh, uh, um, what is his name, the guy who played... Uh, um, I love him. Alfred Molina. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Alfred yeah. Molina's in there. He does a great job. As soon as I heard him as Lex Luthor, I was like, hey, that, that's, that's Alfred Molina. And you even have Doogie Howser himself, although he doesn't really say much, and most of his lines were cut out. Right, Neil Patrick Harris is in there, yeah. yeah. Um, so, so the skits are funny, and they're very uh, uh, poignant to the kind of comical nature of things that we, as readers of DC Comics, kind of bring up. Like, well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Like, for example, um, to reference our, our review of... Um, uh, uh, Superman, uh, the Superman movies uh, with Christian. Uh, why am I freaking blanking? Christopher. On? Christopher Reeves, thank you, Christopher Reeves. Um, so to reference that, we, we we reviewed it, and one of the things that you brought up was his ability to kiss someone, and then their mind gets wiped about events that happened or who someone is. You know that kind of mind wiping kiss that he has. So this is actually a running skit in there where he's just constantly kissing people, and it's just. It's really weird but funny, and that's like one of my favorite skits. And the second favorite skit that I have, um, which I wish that they expanded on, was actual characters in the DC universe. You know, like so there was that that badger or whatever. It's a squirrel. Oh well, no, it was there was a there yeah. was a squirrel girl. It was like a squirrel thing. No, that squirrel girl is is at Marvel. Anyway, there's a squirrel thing. That's a Green Lantern. Oh yeah, squirrel girl thing. Is Marvel. And then there's the banjo player that show up in here, the and then banjo player. and then the fire guy who's voiced by Alfred Molina. Anyway. So the, yes, they have fun with some of the extra. Characters. Firestorm, that was his name. So 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 yeah, this was a lot of fun. Uh, um, highly recommend. Uh, why don't you take it away? I was really pumped because I love the Star Wars Robot Chicken specials. They're just phenomenal, and they're still going, you know, kind of thing. Like I'm sure there'll probably be more at some point. I just I love them. I really adore them, and they they don't hold punches, right? Um, they have this kind of behind the scenes where they're like talking with Lucas, and you can tell that Lucas is a little bit kind of like. Uh, but he let them do a lot more than I think they did with DC. DC, yeah. there's so much fodder, and they do do a little bit of that. Um, you know, they make fun of Aquaman because it's like, Aquaman, he talks to fish, big deal, you know, kind of thing. So so they're kind of poking fun at him, although the New 52, you know, retelling of Aquaman, I think, does more at poking fun at Aquaman than this series co accomplishes. Um, but anyway, yeah, that, that's the only my only complaint, is that they seem to really kind of play it safe. And there are definitely some, I mean, funny things. I like Bane showing up every once oh, in a while. Oh, yeah, that's Bane. Yeah, and, and I like um, the kickball running gag, and I like how they treat Aquaman, although the Aquaman thing could have been way funnier. It yeah. really could have been. Yeah. So there's not enough that they capitalize, and I, I really hope that they come out with another special, because this is kind of like a good, solid first effort, and but the writing is just a little bit uh, safe, I think. So I, I really hope that they do do more. Now, saying that, it is very enjoyable. It just doesn't quite reach that high benchmark of the Star Wars, right? I think. I agree with that. Um, one of my favorite skits, though, is when they, they bring in the boy. I forget his name, but uh, and he, he's the Green Lantern. You know, he sees... Oh, uh, yeah, the nerd. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's really funny. Like, we'll never know what, you know, how Jordan means, you know, kind of thing. And it's just funny. I, I like him in that universe, and I was, like, screaming and whatever. And Seth does so great with his voice. Um, so yes, there's just there's a lot to enjoy. I love watching the behind the scenes. I think it's definitely worth watching, especially think, I'm sorry. even the friggin' chicken nuggets, which I hate it when they do that. Chicken nuggets, it means that these short little things, like you watch the special and then a robot chicken icon appears and you push enter, and then it goes to 
listening to them, like watching it, making commentary, just have the commentary like in the window or something so we can see them. It's so irritating because you have to really watch for that damn chicken. And then you spoil all the jokes in the actual show because it's not like it comes at the end. It comes right in the middle. So you click, you go over there, and then when you come back, it has jumped a couple seconds, so the joke is completely spoiled, so you have to watch it first. Right. But the chicken nuggets are really funny, especially when they're, like, pointing out, uh, like, Batman's high high cut, you know, like, yeah, bikini yeah. briefs that they made, and these are actual toys. Uh, and so that was that was a lot of fun, and it does give you another level, and they talk about actors and stuff. And the, the, the Alfred Merlina bit, you know, seeing him do the voices, and yeah, he did a really great job. I, I, I did not... I guess I didn't realize it was him, and then when I saw him, I was like, oh, you, oh dude, and when then you, I just... When you heard Lex Luthor's I, voice now? Yeah, because I just don't... I mean, maybe I did, but I just... I don't put a lot of stock in that, because that can kind of ruin things. Oh, okay. So, going back and, yeah, and hearing the different parts that he did as well, like he did the Firestorm part, which was right. really fun, and whatever, and he just shows kind of a another side, just like he does in some of those quirky comedies, so... I do really enjoy that. Now, I cut you off a long time ago. Do you remember what you were uh, saying? All I was going to say was uh, one of the things that I think I like the most about this is the the the, um, the, the extras that come with it, the behind the scenes, the skits that they, they threw away or cooked, when didn't get through, uh, didn't get to put in. Um, so that that's really the fun for me. That's where I had the most amount of fun, which you brought up the commentary. So it kind of worked anyways. So. Yeah, I mean, I definitely ended up watching this like three times in a row. I mean, one of it was just straight up. And the second one was the chicken nuggets thing, and then I just wanted to watch it again with commentary. So I, I really did, you know, get a lot of value out of this. It cost me like ten bucks, which is why I picked it up. It was just kind of like, oh yeah, I remember this, and I, I hadn't seen it on TV. I missed it, so I was like, oh yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, I, I I do think it's well worth it. I can't wait for a Marvel one. I hope they get to yeah, do that. I, and I, Image one, you know, like Spawn, would be really funny because I'm sure, you know, whatever, they have lots of lots of uh, liberties they can take. So right. it's just whether or not they got it. I don't think they got a whole lot of leeway or maybe they were afraid to push it i don't know right well you, you saw that the dc um i think there were dc writers and a dc producer who were kind of sitting in tandem while they were making this i'm sure that they had a lot of things to be like well you can't really poke fun of that too much because we understand that that's going too far what i think dc should do is just embrace that there are some holes in your lore and all that yeah, other just stuff let them because yeah, just... that, it doesn't make me you know mm -hmm. dislike star wars anymore right you know what i mean or or hate George Lucas any more than I already do. You know, it's like it doesn't it doesn't really add that. It just it's celebrating these little things that oh yeah, it's not the tightest writing in the world. Right. But they're comics too. Everybody understands that where comics came from were like cool ideas and cool characters, and then they didn't really think about the story too much. Right. And so they just had to make it work. But that can also really, you know do some really great things and really fun things. Those make it work moments. So yeah, I, I agree. They should embrace it and let them you know do another one. But yeah, I am. I am really hoping for like a Marvel version, and an, and I don't know what exactly they would do for Image because there's their Dude. comics are. I mean, like definitely I say Spawn. Uh, yeah, but you Hack know, and Slash. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which Blade, totally. I guess. Uh, Darkness would be awesome because you'd have this really dark character kind of parody parodied in the humor and stuff. So that'd be fun. So yeah, I guess I guess I could totally see that. I would love to see more comic I versions of Robot I just hope they keep Chicken. going. It's such a special thing to do that stop animation, and, yeah. and I'm so glad that it's reached, reached that kind of success. Yeah. And I love just the old toys. It just taps into that nostalgia. That's one of the things and that the I love about Robot is Chicken is they, they they bring up all these old toys, and I was like, I had that toy. Yeah, like Mask. Yeah, I mask, yeah, I remember so. that. I was like, this is I, turning I, into I a, a Watch Robot Chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's also DC. Yeah, right. <laughs> the DC special. It is good. It's just not as good as the Star Wars. The Star Wars is just brilliant. If, if they just broke down those walls and said, you know what, poke fun of as much stuff as you want. Black man, his mask looks ridiculous. You should really make fun of that. You yeah, know, they that do in the stuff. commentary, but yeah. not in the actual show. Right. Yeah. So but uh, that's also, you know, kind of the. The problem with having a one special that's like, you know, what, 40 minutes or something? Yeah. It's not very long. And having to kind of weed it out and maybe play it safe a little. And then there's so much more. I mean, you know, Wonder Woman's Lasso of Truth and stuff like that. I mean, there's just so much they, you know, so much they could use. Right. Anyway, it is solid. Uh, if you if you missed it like I did, uh, you should go check it out, pick it up. It's pretty cheap. And if you love Robot Chicken, this is an absolute gem because it's got all the things that we love as, as comic book nerds in there. So check that out. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Labs has been a hell of a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a car game, art prints, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us, and if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. 
We're also blogging. You can find me, fist37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing updates, and uh, just little bits of the world I've created for 10 plus years. Uh, take a look if you like it, share it, support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where I have short stories and poetry, so if you're interested in that, check that out. All right, guys. See you later. Oh, I thought... Yeah, you've been missing so much the first time. Well, that one was really low, so I, I really thought I would miss that. I, I wish I had. <laughs> Coming up on Dual Review, it's DuckTales, the video game. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week, starting off with Robot Chicken's DC special, followed by DuckTales, and then for focal point, Pathfinder, the adventure card game. Sorry. Sorry. Suddenly my thumb itched. It's weird. It's yeah, it's like a strange it. bit of you to itch. Yeah. What the hell does that ever itch? Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with Robot Chicken's DC Special. Robot Chicken's DC Special, followed by DuckTales, the video game, and then for a focal point, Pathfinder the Adventure. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with Pathfinder, Robot Chicken's. A lot to say in this one. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. There you go, that's how it's done. <clears throat> Fifth time, every time. <laughs>